so I harvested some lemon balm, which is luscious and green as an early grower. And I am now bundling it to hang in my drying shed so that I can then use it as dried uh, herb for lemon balm tea or uh, lemon balm tincture making or any lemon balm item I would like to make. So uh, here are the ones I already bundled and I will show you how I did that. I'm just gonna lay a few out here. I cut it off the plants using these shears. I cut it at a, right above a joint. So this is a joint where opposite leaves come out and I cut right above the joint so that there's a long stem for tying. And the leaves, these were cut probably 15 minutes ago. I've been bundling since then and as you can see they're already starting to wilt and dry. The first thing I do is I look and see, oh, is there any sign of insect activity? And on this leaf, there is, so I'll tear that leaf off. And I'm carefully looking now, I do a, a cursory look as I'm trimming, but sometimes you miss a leaf that is muddy or insect bitten. And I don't want those to end up in my herbal medicine batch that I jar up and uh, use later or share during workshops of how to make herbal teas. So I carefully check it before I dry it so that I know once it's dried, everything that dried is usable for tea making, for tincturing. It uh, doesn't take too terribly long. And then when I have a cluster of cleaned stems, probably five or six stems in a group, I will take it and I have all this nice top area there. I take some jute or hemp is twine that you can get in a hardware store or a garden center or sometimes even in a department store, seasonally available, and or a craft store often will have it. And I wrap it around there a couple times. And then I pull it tight and I cross over. You can't see the jute from my fingers, but all I'm doing is making a knot and pulling it snug. Cross it over, pull it through again. So there's a knot. And then I'll wrap it a couple more times just for extra stability. As these stems dry, they are going to get a little smaller. They're going to shrink down and so then this jute will be a little looser and I want to make sure it's as tight as I can get it so that they don't fall out while drying because I'm actually going to hang these to dry rather than lay them flat on the screen, which is another way that I could do drying of leaf herbs and I will show you that with a different herb or a different harvest of lemon balm later. So I just tie a knot at the top which leaves a loop to hang on the nail in my drying shed. And all of these bunches of lemon balm and the rest that I'm going to bundle will hang like this upside down in the shed. Um, I'd say a week or two. I'm going to check them in a week because the shed's pretty hot and dry and if it's if it stays hot and dry, they will dry very quickly. Uh, depends on the moisture in the air, how long it takes to dry, but I will check them and when they are dry and crumbly to the touch, I will take them down and jar them and I will show you how to check the lemon balm and I will show you how to jar the lemon balm in a future video. Brooke Criswell of Be Well Bohemia Herbs and Things. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you had fun, learned something, and will be harvesting your own herbs.